A little boy got out of the gorilla's arms. Three men screamed at the sight. The man stretched out his hand. He was about to grab the baby's shoelace with his hand. The gorilla holds down the other side of the baby's shoelace. The man doesn't give up. He tugs on the shoelace again. He's about to get his hands on the baby's shoelace. The boy screams at the gorilla. The gorilla hands onto the man in anger. The man shakes his hand and screams. The man in the hat comes to the gorilla with a mop. He hands the baby's clothes with a mop. The gorilla sees this and pulls the baby down. Then he jumps so hard that the man in the hat went flying. While the gorilla and the baby were asleep, Big Brother Mark reached for the baby. He was about to pull the baby out. Suddenly the gorilla woke up. He grabbed Mark's hand and roared at him. And then he lifted Mark up and threw him out. The other monkeys were watching and applauding. At that moment, a door opened. The gorilla climbed through with the baby. And finally, the baby climbed down the ladder and out. The baby said goodbye to the gorilla. The baby was crawling on the lawn. Then three robbers found him. The baby crawled into a passageway. The robbers quickly made their way to the other end of the passage. They finally caught the baby. The police came over. Mark hid the baby in his clothes. The baby took out a lighter and lit it up. Mark had a pained look on his face. His pants were smoking. The baby has crawled away. After the police left, Mark lifted up his shirt and it was on fire inside. They helped the man put out the fire on his body by stamping on it with their feet. The baby climbed on the skylight and Drew fell down. It turns out that the kidnappers below are the ones who kidnapped the baby. This morning, three kidnappers dressed up as photographers. They came to the baby's house to take pictures. The baby looked at the books on the table. Then he looked at the men's faces and he smiled. The men picked up the baby. Then the baby kicked the man. They took the adults out of the house. Then they stole the baby from the window. They left a note with a ransom of five million dollars. The three robbers took the baby to the house. They were going to make him some formula. Then Bob spilled the milk on the hat man's head. The man in the hat hit Bob. The baby looks on and smiles. They continue to beat each other and make the baby happy. At this point, they were ready to put the baby to sleep. They didn't realize they were putting themselves to sleep. The baby climbed out. His spit fell down the window and onto the man's neck. The man looked up and saw the baby. They went after him. The baby climbed up on the board. The man rushed forward. The next moment, the other two brothers are coming. Suddenly the board hits the men again. Bob got angry and threw the plank. By now the baby has climbed to the other side. They are ready to jump to the other side. The man couldn't keep up and fell. The man grabbed the handrail. Then the handrail also fell down. The man fell down. The two brothers came downstairs. The baby came downstairs. He walked right in front of them. The baby walked through the crowd and got on a bus. They picked the man up and sit him down on a bench. The man suddenly realizes the baby is on the bus. They drove up to the bus and started a chase. When they catch up with the bus, the baby was no longer on the bus. It turns out that the baby had just walked into the woman's basket. The robbers suddenly realize the baby was in the basket. They followed the woman to discuss what to do. The baby in the basket smiled at them. Suddenly the woman turned around and beat them up. The baby crawled away. The robbers were beaten by them and ran away. This is a baby born into a wealthy family. He's got a nanny to look after him every day. The combs are made of silver. Then three robbers kidnapped him, but he escaped on his own. He came to the construction site. A car went over his head. The robbers were looking for him. He climbed onto a steel plate and was hoisted up with it. The kidnappers watched in disbelief from below. They went up in the elevator of the construction site, but they passed by the baby. They waited upstairs for the baby to come up. The man jumped onto the plate. The baby slid down the plate and onto the elevator. Leaving the man on the plate, Mark told the head man to grab the man. The man in the head jumped over and grabbed the man. Together they floated in the air. Suddenly the man in the head fell off and landed on the planks. The man fell on top of the other man. When the head man woke up, the board moved and he fell again. The man finally sees the baby, just as he's about to go over and grab him. He stepped on the baby's spit and fell, and then a tool from the board hit him. Then the cement on his head fell all over him. The baby climbed onto another moving board. The man was trying to catch up with the baby. He jumped onto the moving target, but then the driver turned off all the equipment and left for work. The man was stuck on the moving target watching the most beautiful sunset. The baby crawls away with the crowd. The man in the hat is covered in cement. The other man was covered in garbage. At night, the police arrived at the baby's house. Based on the clues, the babysitter deduced that the baby was now in a nursing home. They went to the nursing home with the police. The baby was listening to the old people singing. The family finally found the baby. 